Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be putting up the roof rafters for the workshop, top workshop's roof. Uh, the poles that rest on the wall and the frame in the middle. Um, it will become clear as I do it as I go along. Um, but first thing I need to do is manoeuvre the frame around a little bit because it's not quite in the right position. I just need to shift it around a little bit till I'm happy with it and then make some little brackets to fix the feet down to the concrete and uh, put in a damp proof membrane underneath the bottom of the logs just so uh, damp coming up through the concrete won't, um, won't rot the bottoms of them. So we do that and then we'll start doing the roof. But I actually want these to just be, you know, flush with the floor, look like they're just touching the floor, not raised up on slate. Um, so I've just got these, uh, it's just a bit of uh, polypropylene plastic from a oil container, I get my veg oil in. So a bit of reuse something. It's just going to be a damp uh, proof layer under the post. So I've just got to try and lift this up enough. Slide under the end Pump that down. Now trim it around flush. Right, just made up these uh, angle brackets. Just the angle line, two holes. Yeah, painted. So I'm just gonna put some flat spots. So the idea of these is to stop the legs moving if you hit into them, or you know, when bringing a car in or whatever, nudge them about. They don't need holding down because the weight on them is gonna be pretty immense. So that's why they're not extending right up here. It's basically just to hold them in place where they are. That's all the uh, posts fixed down to the floor with the angle brackets. There's 16 little angle brackets there and 16 10 mil fixings. So I mean, this is never ever gonna move. And it is strong. You know, strong enough, all the bracing, everything, where I can push one post with the tractor and the whole thing moves, even though the friction on the concrete, you know, that if, if it wasn't strong, you know, the post would spread as it, as you did that, but yeah. It is absolutely solid, this thing. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna start putting the uh, timbers, so the roof rafters up. Um, a lot of debarking to do on those, and I still need to mill some nice big square pieces that sit on these tenons for this pitch roof up here. Uh, but yeah, a lot to do, but as of tomorrow, we'll start putting the roof up, so that's exciting. I'll come back to you in the morning. Pretty boring day lined up today. Just bark stripping all day, really. Uh, not the most fun job, but it's got to be done. I'd rather do it bit by bit. I sort of need, you know, a nice selection of logs debarked so I can, uh, you know, choose which one I want out of the pile, best suited, rather than debark one, use it. Yeah, just need to debark a big pile of them. Some of them aren't too bad, and the bark coming off quite easy some spots like this one we can sat around for a bit yeah I think I shall just spend the whole day debarking Right, there we go, debarking's done. 
that's what uh, nine o'clock until five o'clock of debarking looks like. Pretty tedious, but uh, good job to have done. They're all ready now. If I didn't want at a time, it'd be more enjoyable to do like work-wise, but yeah, it's nice to have them all in a pile, pick the one I want. You know, it's more efficient that way. So yeah, tomorrow I shall start putting them up. Yeah. Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to start putting the uh, roof logs up, which is quite exciting. Uh, bit of a rainy day today, uh, not heavy rain, but you know, it is raining, but it's quite nice really with all the uh, hot weather we've had. It's quite refreshing. Uh, not ideal for putting the roof logs up, but it's going to be nicer than the uh, heat we've been working in. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, start putting some roof logs up. I'm going to get some big bits up in the corners first, and then start working my way around, creating a nice shape. Yeah, let's get to it. Me a bit. Oh, oh right. yeah, there. Okay, there. So they've all been getting individually notched in around the wall plate. As you can see they're all notched in and then fixed and they've got a a uh, cup concave on the top which fits around that main um, support in the middle yeah it went really well oh, hey everyone so uh, next day uh, yesterday raining most of the day and uh, just trying to get things figured out and everything for the um, roof rafters uh, today I've got a bit more of an idea of what to do and how to do it uh, doing the notches and stuff and what works and what doesn't but again it's uh, chucking it down as you can probably hear from the rain on the window so uh, see how we get on. This meant to clear up about 12, so uh, I think we got about eight rafters in, something like that. So not going too bad. Um, I'm hoping to get a load done today, but this rain really slows it down. It makes the logs very slippery. Um, so yeah. We'll brave the rain, and I'll try and get some filming done uh, from like 12 onwards when it clears up a bit, because um, camera's partly waterproof, but it's just generally difficult to film in the rain because the lens gets all covered in rain droplets and everything. But yeah, we'll uh, start filming around 12. Okay, good morning everyone. So we are on day three of putting up the roof timbers. Um, we're about halfway around. See, it's going pretty well. They're not all trimmed to length in there yet. That'll all be tidied up. So I'm going to start today by putting uh, two or three along there, and then we'll start doing the back wall. Uh, it should start to become clear now what it's going to look like. 
Uh, all these are left long for the overhang so I can shape a nice, nice overhang. Yeah, they take quite a while because they're all notched in on both ends and they've all got a nice big stainless steel fitting which all needs pre-drilling and everything. Yeah, it's going to be so strong and solid and it's going to last forever. Yeah, so uh, yesterday afternoon we put in those three for the door frame and we'll carry on working around from there as well today. And this is what it looks like as you walk in. I've got the sort of spiral pattern where they come together and join up nice like that. And the joinery is looking really good. Yeah, very pleasant to look at. Won't go anywhere now. Safe. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of work on my own. Um, I've had some help the last three days, but um, a person doesn't want to be on camera. It's made filming very difficult. Uh, so I'm going to do a bit on my own now um, to um, to just get a bit of footage really and uh, show show the procedure and everything that I've been doing a little bit better. It's about uh, two thirds of the way around now and uh, got a good idea of how to do it. Got some good techniques and stuff. So yeah, pretty sure I can do this bit on my own. Okay, these bits aren't too heavy. Right, you're up in the tractor bucket with me. It's going to wobble around a little bit. Um, but yeah, I take a little handsaw. I use that to try and match these angles under here. Get a mark. It's just more consistent than uh, than pencil is. I'm going to cut the marks out anyway. I get a mark there. I'm sort of running the the saw along the other timber try and match the angles a little bit. Let's see what this is. Rotate this round without dropping it, hopefully. Let's have it come this way. Rotate it round. Do this strap up. Sorry if my arm was blocking that. Yeah, so now I'm going to cut that out. Right, so I've got a nice little hollow cut in there now. So now, roll it back over, hopefully not dropping it. So there we go, it gives us a nice little uh, notch for it to sit on. So obviously if that was just uh, round wood on round wood, the contact point would be tiny, but now the contact point is actually quite big and it'll stop that wanting to slide off. Even though it's only a small arc, there'll be a lot of friction there with all the weight on it. It won't want to slip forwards or backwards. And on the uh, on the bigger logs, I do a larger contact point. You know, and when they're on a big slope, they get an even bigger one again. Yeah, you get the idea. 
So now I shall go and cut a little hollow in that wall, in the wall plate, sorry, and that will accept the other end. Yeah, these ones on, on this wall in front of me that we're just doing is a lot easier than the ones behind me for the front wall because they sat on those um, like angled uh, wall plate uh, points that I made, you know, I put that extra bit of wood on top. I did that so that the uh, the front wall being an inside curve gets additional support from those that, that wall plate and fixing right around them so that it's fixed on both sides of a notch on the uh, on the rafter. But these ones, the wall that we're fixing to is an outside curve and um, because of that it's strong so if the rafters are having a tendency of pulling that inwards because of the angle it's actually just pulling it against the way that it's really strong so that's good i hope i sort of explained that somewhat coherently it's been quite a long day <laughs> so excuse me if i didn't okay for uh we're back at the top end now for fixings I'm using these big bad boys stainless steel 150 mil um, they're driving right down through that pocket and getting in a good couple of inches of thread Right, tractor out of the way, you can see where we got to so far. I'm going to fill in some of these larger gaps yet with some smaller diameter timbers. These are just the structure really, and then obviously not all cut off yet. Yeah. A review of what's going on, and the doorway around here.
Yeah, yeah, so having this amount of uh, turf roof just on that one uh, center beam in the frame in the middle would would be way too much for that because it's like over a nearly a five meter span it's about three and a half meters with if you include from brace to brace um, but it's quite a big span with a lot of weight but because we have this really big overhang the pivot there's a pivot point here so all of this weight which is bigger than the weight over there because these fan outwards in a, in a v shape so you actually get more mass on the ends than at the top and all of that mass is pushing down on here pivoting here and lifting a lot of that so every every meter we go out that way we can come at least a meter back this way before we're even adding any weight to that beam in the middle um, and that's why the overhangs add a significant amount of work because it's extra roofing extra turf extra materials but they deduct the weight on things that are holding them massively so and applies it to the wall instead and um, that's another very good reason for long overhangs mostly the reason is for uh, weather to keep the weather off the earth bags but yeah because they're long like that that really big overhang a lot of weight it counterlevers the weight off of that, that frame in the middle so all this is going to be stuffed with cob and rocks and things because obviously there'll be sarking boards across here so we'll have this void and that'll all be stuffed with cob so these won't be just sitting there they'll be also on cob and everything in here so there'll be an enormous amount of friction as well as the fixing and the flat spot there they've got this uh, big step here where the wall increases in height to get around the door frame um, so that my sarking boards don't clash with this corner excuse me I need to uh, increase up to that height so I'm going to put in a big chunky log along there and that'll help graduate that, that slope a little bit sitting quite good first time that is the first for doing that wow right that is quite an amazingly good fit for a first time
So I'm just going to put a couple in here because uh, they're spaced out bigger there because they're going over the window frame. So I'm just going to put some secondaries in there that aren't really going to put much weight on the frame um, but are going to uh, make it look a bit better because the gap there is bigger than everywhere else. And I've got a few left over so I'm going to fill in some gaps with some smaller ones. Right, so that is all of them done. So now I just need to trim them all at the tops, and I'm going to do that now. So yeah, a bit of a pain in the up, up and down the tracks for a little bit, but be okay. I'll probably put you on time lapse and uh, cut all them off. And it's done. So uh, welcome to my workshop. It actually feels like something now. You can sort of get a feel of how it's going to be and look. So there's going to be a small pitched roof in the middle that accommodates lifting a van into the middle and then around the edges. As you can see, it's this lovely spiral of wood fanned out shape. Not spiral, but fanned out like that. I'll bring my van in here in a second just so you can get a sense of scale. Obviously there's windows and stuff that are covered up, the walls are covered up, uh, but once it's all in here, white plastered, windows uncovered, you get an idea of how it's going to look. Well, I think it looks pretty awesome. I'll uh, go get my van, bring my van in here, give a little bit of a sense of, uh, of scale and uh, how high I'm going to be able to lift it into this space. So that is another good job done, um, 30 odd rafters, something like that in the last week, all with a notch on each end, front wall was more complicated, back wall moved a bit quicker, yeah really pleased, it's, uh, it's really cool watching something that you've had in your mind and as a little model come together and see it work, you know this was all measurements, calculations and little models and things and just images in my mind and see it all come together exactly as I imagined it is really cool. Uh, so next week I'm going to be fitting in the what's called sarking boards so it's all the boards in between all these rafters because we're going to have a wooden underside in this workshop and we do all the overhangs and everything and all that kind of good stuff and then once that's done I'm going to be building this uh, structure in the middle once I've built something that I can stand on up there okay that's going to be the end of this video hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching <laughs>